Hello friends. Well, it is right now 1 10 a.m. at night and uh, I had a long hectic day, you know. But I'm very excited to make this video presentation. I will keep it as short as possible. Well, you can see over here, this is my Node MCU, this is 4 relay channel and this is a bulb. Now over here, if you find this is the Google Firebase. And over here, I have got Jupyter Notebook, and I've written a few lines of code. The sole purpose of this code is to go for face identification. Yeah, you rightly heard, it's face identification. So the, my application will identify my face, and if it is my face, then this bulb should glow. <laughs> you might be wondering what I'm talking about. Well, uh, my training model of my Python machine learning application has already been trained. So let me directly start with the execution of the program, okay? Because it would take time to go through all the piece of code segment. So I'm skipping a few lines of code and I'm directly coming to the execution of this. So here is the video execution start and you will be able to see me. Okay, and here it is. Okay, so it has got 82% of match as I'm talking. So now it could figure out that it's me. And that's the reason the light is glowing. Isn't that great enough? And if you notice over here, the firebase value. See, when I'm changing my eyes, when I'm moving my eyes, uh, the value is getting zero and now when it is one it is showing that it's my face and the light is glowing okay so as long as my face is matching with the train model the light will glow so the face detection is working pretty nicely so what if i shift my face away or if i put someone else face with is not being matched with the training model in that case the thing can be different so would you like to see a different stuff i'm uh activating my cell phone and i will be putting someone's picture over here now let's see what happens now as i bring my one of my students face in front of the screen the face got detected. See, the face has been smoothly detected, but it is just 70%. So it found that it's a human face, but it is not the face of mine. And that's the reason why the light is not glowing. But once it figured out my face, the light is again back on track. So the detection is working pretty nicely. So let's try out once again. Here's my front face and it has detected where the face is so as i keep on moving the mobile phone the face detection is working but it's not my face that's the reason the firebase value is zero and now once it finds my face back again the firebase value is one and you find the light is on what would you say did you like my video did you like my application well, I don't know, but I surely enjoyed it, you know. And just keep watching my video. That's what I often say. And this time also I'm saying the same thing. But before I quit, let me tell you one thing. In my next video presentation, I'm going to come up with much more attractive application. Okay. Thank you so much. And before I leave, let's run the application once again by checking whether my student face has been detected or not. My student face, oh, <laughs> a previous picture came over here, but fine. So, my face is back on track and the light is glowing. Thank you so much. Machine learning, Google Firebase, IoT, and whatnot. Thank you so much. Have a nice time. Bye-bye.